Well everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and do a camera comparison between the iPhone 14, iPhone 13, iPhone 12, and the iPhone 11. Now this one's a little bit different. I haven't done like a grouped camera FaceTime or camera, you know, camera comparison in a long, long time. And this is the best I could do. You know, it's definitely a work in progress, but I do want to start off before we look at photos or anything even close to that. There are a lot of moving pieces between all of these different cameras. Okay. There's different camera features. There's different types of cameras, you know, but I will say at their core, the core camera features are almost identically the same. They have the same type of cameras. They have the same type of camera resolutions we can film in as well. So there's not as many differences as most of us may think, which is actually pretty insane. So starting off with the iPhone 11 to the iPhone 14, you are getting the same type of camera modules, same ultra wide and wide angle lenses, same exact thing between the 12 and the 14, and the same exact thing between the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 14 as well. So we are getting the same type of, you know, wide and ultra wide lenses. All these phones are missing LiDAR sensors and all these phones are missing telephoto lenses as well. So it's very interesting. They share a ton of similarity when it comes down to that. So if you're actually talking about, you know, if you're walking outside and you want to go ahead and, you know, take up 0.5x type of picture with the ultra wide lens, well, you're going to have that type of capability on all these iPhones, which is actually really, really cool. I will also add the camera UIs are identically the same on both. There's different camera features between all of them, but the UIs are the same. The way you will interact with them and everything is exactly the same as well. I will say the speed and just the fluidity of everything does seem faster on the iPhone 14s, but if we're really talking about the way everything looks, it kind of looks the same on all of them if I'm being honest. Now, this does bring me into the feature side of things. So with the iPhone 11, we pretty much only had the stock video resolutions we can film in, which were 4K at 60 on the front and the back, which is beautiful. We had portrait mode, video mode, you know, panorama mode, slow mode as well. But beyond that, there really wasn't anything, you know, any other cool features that Apple implemented at this time. With the iPhone 12s, pretty much the exact same thing. It was said to be a better camera setup overall, but realistically speaking, it had the same exact features as well. There were maybe a few like pro res, you know, type of features that were added, but beyond that, there wasn't anything crazy. With the iPhone 13, this is where Apple did start implementing some cooler features. So this is where we started getting things like cinematic mode. Now cinematic mode is a really cool feature. It's essentially like portrait mode for videos. And I'm really happy Apple ended up, you know, bringing this type of feature in because it does kind of separate itself from other types of iPhones. So personally, I'm really happy about that. And this is a really cool feature that Apple actually ended up implementing for these types of iPhones. Now with the iPhone 14, it ended up giving us a little bit of a better experience on cinematic mode. So I'm really happy about that. And it also ended up bringing action mode, which is a super stabilized video type of mode, which is cool. So if you're videoing people running and you're running yourself or something like that, well, you can get a little bit of a better experience from that type of you know video. So that is another really cool thing that Apple ended up bringing here. And those are basically the main types of differences that we've seen here. I did take some few photos, so we'll go ahead and compare them right now. But basically, that's kind of a lay of the land of all the different features and updates between each iteration of these iPhones. Now, if we take a look at my screen here, we can see that we have four different blocks. The block in the top left are the iPhone 14 photos. The iPhone 13 photos are on the right, right here at the top right corner. The iPhone 12 photos are on the bottom left. And the iPhone 11 photos are on the bottom right. Now, this first photo was really bad. I don't really want to take a look at it anymore, so we're just going to skip straight to the second one. Now, this photo is a one of my favorite photos to compare because it kind of implements a little bit of a better idea of a four subject and everything around it. So immediately, I'm already able to see like a ton of differences. So if we take a look at this specific portion right here, first of all, on the iPhone 14, it looks pretty good. You know, I think overall the photo looks pretty decent. It's almost exactly what I would expect. There doesn't really seem to be anything insane going on and it seems like a pretty decent photo. The 13 is more or less the same. You're going to basically see that the iPhone 13 photo and the iPhone 14 photos here are basically identical. Now with the iPhone 12, this is where I noticed, even with the iPhone 11, we can throw in here too, I do notice one of the bigger things and bigger problems with some of these older iPhones, like the 12s and the 11s, is that the light that comes in, we're in natural light out here, the light that comes in up top, it, it gives me the same effect. 
it is this weird like glowing effect that's up top and it makes the photo seem very very washed out you can see on the 14 and the 13 up here didn't really get that these were taking at the basically exact same times and you can see that with the 14 didn't get that where the 12s we did get that now i will say for the rest of the photos like this little bulb down here they look almost identical the iphone 11 photo looks a little bit colder i think when it comes down to it whereas on the iphone 14 to 13 photo look pretty sharp if i had to say it i would probably say that the iphone 13 photo looks the best which is very funny and then maybe the iphone 14 photo is second the 11 definitely doesn't look as good as the other ones but that's kind of how that one looks now with this one it's actually just of the same it's the same exact time i took all these by the way and we can see and get a better glimpse of the colors that all these photos will are basically taken in now i will say they all kind of give me the same impression there really isn't anything that kind of stands out to me immediately, but I do notice that if we look at this color right here, look at how much more purple it looks on the iPhone 11 and even the iPhone 12, whereas on the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 14, it kind of looks a little bit more bluish. So even though it's the same type of coloring, it's the same type of you know flower, we can see how the different colors are between both of these phones. Now, I will say in real life, it is more like this color, so it's not as purple as this is. So that is something that kind of stands out to me. I will also say that when it comes down to this flower on the side, this stand out a little bit more on the iPhone 14, which is very cool. And we can even see that the background seems a little bit more blurred on both the iPhone 14 and the 13, more so than the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 11. So that is another thing that kind of stands out. Again, these are outdoor photos and a lot of indoor photos. I and mean, that's where you're going to start seeing probably the bigger differences if I'm being honest but with this one. Both these photos look great. Now with this one, I basically took it of the sky, and this was a really big difference here. So again, exact same times, but all the lenses were wiped down, so there weren't any smudges or anything like that. And we can see that with the iPhone 14, pretty decent photo. You know, we can see that, you know, I purposely tried to get it so there wasn't really like a sky, little like sunlight beaming inside or anything like that. The sky looks pretty good. The 14, the 13, sorry, also looks very good as well. There really isn't anything that stands out to me that, you know, this photo looks bad. But there's just something about the iPhone 12s and the iPhone 11 photos that I don't know what it is with me, but they just look very blurry. So with the iPhone 12, like I mentioned, you know, these lenses were wiped down and everything. But I guess it's just how the photo just takes in light sometimes. And I feel like I read about this maybe a few years ago when the iPhone 12s came out. But it does seem like the light that comes in it just doesn't know what to do with it sometimes. And with the iPhone 11, it's kind of the same thing. But the iPhone 11 photo looks better here than the iPhone 12's photo. But here for sure, I would definitely say the iPhone 14 photo looks far better than the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 11. But the difference between the iPhone 11 and, sorry, the difference between the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 13, there's pretty much no difference there at all. So I'll probably tell you that between these four, the 14 and the 13 look far better than the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 11. That's probably where you're going to start seeing the biggest amount of differences. Now, this final photo I have here is just of this subject. Again, nothing crazy. We're just going to go ahead and take a look at this little plant thing. And again, when I go and zoom into this specific portion, you might be able to tell that there's something else going on. Now, I tap to focus on all of these phones, so keep that in mind. I tap to focus on the subject, and the background should have been as blurred as it could have been when we're not in portrait mode. And you can also see for yourself that in a case like this, the iPhone 14 photo gives us the best impression of how much more blurred out the background is. I mean, the background is just so much more blurred out on the iPhone 14 than even on the iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 photo surprisingly doesn't look as blurred out as something as the iPhone 13. So that is something that is another pretty big difference if I'm being honest. The iPhone 11 photo, which is right here, and the iPhone 12 photos have been looking almost identical. They've been looking pretty much the same between both and between the 13 and the 14 these have been looking pretty much identical too so i think between the 14 and the 13 i think the 14 definitely has the better photos here and everything but between the iphone 11 and the iphone 12 there have been very few differences that i've been able to tell just like i've been able to few you know tell very few differences between the 13 and the 14. so if i had to kind of sum up this whole entire video i will probably tell you that in my opinion the iphone 12 and the iPhone 11 are, you know, they're, they're definitely good cameras still, but going up to an iPhone 13 or an iPhone 14 will definitely be giving you a much better camera. The iPhone 14 by far and all these, I think, has a better camera for sure, but 
if it's between an iPhone, if you already have an iPhone 13, it's almost identically the same camera as the iPhone 14 as far as I can tell. But that's where you're going to start noticing the bigger differences is between if you're going from an iPhone 11 to an iPhone 14 or if you're going from an iPhone 12 to an iPhone 14. I do think Apple does this thing sometimes where they use the same type of cameras for two years. And, and this, is, this is a perfect example. The 11 and 12 photos looked almost identical and the 13 and 14 photos looked almost identical here too. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.